Hey YouTube, Commander Tech here. In this video, I'll be doing an app review of the app Vlingo. Here it is now, and this is a Siri-like app. So if you have, let's say, an iPod or a later-gen iPhone or an iPad, this is a Siri-like thing. So some of the things you can do, let's go to, what can I say? You can send texts, emails, maps, update your statuses on, let's say, Facebook or Twitter, search stuff on the web, and call. So to do stuff like this, you would say text and then the name, or email the name, call the name, or search apples or Facebook update or Twitter update. You pretty much get it. So I'm going to pretty much show a demonstration and you can go to settings. You can turn on auto lesson. You can turn it off. I would just have it off. Tones on. Profanity filter. I turn that off. And then you can have more settings over here. So now I'm going to try and send a text. Text Tim Cook. Hey Tim. What is the release date of the next iPad? So there's a little response delay when you tap and then it takes a little bit of time but eventually it gets it. It's kind of slow. Siri is faster but this is the next best thing and it works really well so you can see it realized that I wanted to text Tim Cook and it almost nailed the message so I'm just gonna erase it all and I'm gonna do a little dictation so as you could see there was a little delay when I uh, pressed it uh, now it's thinking I could exit ha ha let's try this again okay you can go ahead and time the delay Okay, I tapped it. Hey Tim, what is the release date of the next iPad? Alright, so it nailed that message. It said, hey Tim, what is the release date of the next iPad? And that is what I said. So when you tap a word, uh, you'll see other words that, you know, is similar, that it things you might have said and you can still do the suggest right here and you could define standard iOS 5 keyboard layout and stuff such and such so if I wanted to send this I could click next I'm just gonna go back I'll text him cook later alright now I'm gonna search commander tech search commander tech and uh, now I have it that it automatically uses Google, so we'll see if it nailed Commander Tech. Ha! Commander Cat, and now? So as you can see, this isn't the best, but... Search Commander Tech. Let's see if it nailed it. Oh my god, Commander Cat, no! 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 Google Commander Tech. Commander tax, really? But you can still edit it. There we go. So as you can see, you know, this isn't the best, but this is the most Siri-like application out there, and usually it works fairly well, but I'm just gonna do a few more demonstrations all right, so now I'm going to do another dictation demonstration. Hey, Tim, I am currently doing a video demonstration of the app Vlingo. Hey, Kim, 
Okay, it slightly messed up his name. Usually it nails Tim, but there you go. I just changed it. Hey, Tim, I'm currently doing a video demonstration of the app Lingo. So that worked pretty well. So as you can see, this is the... So Lingo is the most like Siri, and this is a third-party application on the Apple App Store. It is simply Vlingo, V-L-I-N-G-O. This is a free app, and I encourage you to, you know, try it out for yourself. If you don't have an iPhone 4S, um, what do you got to lose? This isn't like Siri, this isn't totally accurate, and sometimes when you press to speak, there's about a four second delay, and then it starts listening. If I don't want it to listen, I can cancel. You can also do more stuff like, you know, Facebook status updates and everything. Uh, so, if I had my Facebook set up, Facebook update, gym tan laundry. Let's see how it does there. Yep, gym tan laundry. You can choose the social site right here. So that's Lingo. You can get it on the iPad, iPhone, and iPod Touch. This is a free app. And this is the most like Siri. So you can go ahead, download it today. I'm Commander Tech. Make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel up there and check out my iPhone 4S giveaway. Once again, I'm Commander Tech, and I am signing out.